It's time to update them. Learning has changed. Um, technology has changed. Many of the classrooms throughout Coloma Community Schools were built in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, which is why the proposed bond requesting $28.2 million would help the school to make some upgrades. None of those rooms are air conditioned. So it gets pretty warm in those old classrooms in the high school and at the elementary. And as well as heating and cooling, the schools would also upgrade their technology, lighting, and replace boilers. So by taking care of these facilities, reducing these maintenance and operation costs, and updating our heating and cooling and things like that, we're able to put more money back into the kids in the classroom, which is ultimately what we really want to do. The bond passing would also allow the school to upgrade athletic facilities, as well as demolish the Allwood gym that has been used by rec leagues and other groups, turning it into a new gym with community spaces that will be even more open to the public. It would be important if we eliminated that space to continue to be able to provide space for those groups that are used to that and, and support our, our school sports as well. If the bond proposal passes, the mill rate would increase by 0.99, meaning a homeowner with a taxable value of $100,000 would have an increase of $99 on their yearly taxes. And the schools believe it's a community investment worth making. In today's era, education is a competing industry. Parents have choices. Um, we want our parents to have great facilities here so that they don't choose to go elsewhere where other districts are investing in their schools.